video. I have such exciting news for you guys. I have merch. I like can't even believe that's a true statement. Basically, a couple months ago, I was reached out to and given the opportunity to create merch for you guys. And ever since then, I've been brainstorming ideas. I've been working with a team. We've been trying to come up with really cool things that we think you guys would like. This was the first one I came up with, and I was like, this has to happen no matter what. And it just says not clickbait on it. If you guys watch a lot of YouTubers, you know, I think all of us at some point are guilty of making like clickbait thumbnails and titles and a lot of times people put not clickbait in parentheses and I just feel like it's such like a YouTube thing that you can relate to whether you watch me or like a ton of other different people. I just wanted the merch to be like relatable but not like just about me. This was just kind of the direction that I wanted it to go in. I hope that like makes sense. I'm not the information link down below but they have this crew neck, which I'm wearing because mainly I was afraid I would get it dirty. My favorite color one is this light pink one. It is so pretty. This one comes like with a hoodie, and I'll do a close up because this camera is super overexposed right now and you can't really see it, but it's so cute. And there's also a t-shirt one if you don't want to have something with long sleeves. So I'm going to have all the information linked down below. I am so so excited. I hope you guys like them. I tried to keep it like as low cost as I possibly could as well. The only thing is that these are all only available for two weeks. So if you do want to get one, then you have to kind of pick it up like sooner rather than later. I'm not sure if this design is actually ever going to be back. I really hope that they'll let me do more of it, but it's kind of just like to test it out and see how you guys like it. So if you do want it, you have to pick it up in two weeks. Before today's video, I wanted to do an updated morning routine for you guys, but my morning routine never really changes that much. So I thought instead I would do some life hacks for you and just ways to have like a better morning and be like a morning person. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right guys, welcome to my 2017 life hack morning routine. My first hack for you is kind of just like a tip slash suggestion and that is to change your pillowcases to satin ones if you haven't already. Mine were from Amazon, they were only $15. The benefit to this is that it helps, first of all, it doesn't catch your hair so it won't break as often and it also helps prevent frizz. So if you move around like I do a lot when you sleep, this will really help you out. This next hack slash tip is to change your alarm to a sound you freaking hate. Now I know this sounds like a horrible way to wake up. I used to have very soft sounds for like my alarm, but the thing is they would kind of like creep into my dreams and I wouldn't even wake up. But if you hear a sound that drives you insane, you will wake up and want to turn it off. Right, so this is my last like more like a tip rather than a hack. I recommend spend like two minutes on your phone in the morning. I think just reading stuff whether it's like Instagram or like an article or Twitter it just kind of helps your brain get engaged and I just find it impossible to go to sleep after I've been on my phone even if it's for like two minutes. So next up I have a hair trick for you and this is because I hate doing my hair especially in the morning I just never really feel like it so this is kind of a way that you can make it look like longer and nicer than it actually is so you need two ponytails for this and what you want to do is just take the top portion of your hair and pull it back and you want to pull it off to the side just a little bit because you want it to be visible when you're looking like straight forward at someone so then you should have some hair left over just hanging at the bottom so what I do is I start off and I just braid it like a normal three strand braid super super simple and then once I get about halfway down I just start adding hair in from the bottom and I'm still continuing to do a regular braid I'm just adding in pieces one by one and basically this gives the illusion of like a really long braid because it's starting all the way at the top of your head but in reality it's really not that long and then after you're done tying off the bottom portion what you can do is just go in and kind of separate the pieces this is gonna to make it look a lot fuller and thicker and now your hair is going to look full and thick and long even if it's not and I just think this looks really cute and it really only takes me about two minutes to do. Now this next one you guys have probably seen before but I want to go ahead and get it into some makeup hacks. I'm not a makeup expert in any way so this is way out of my territory but here are a few things that help me out. The first is to take a spoon to catch like the bottom part of the mascara so it doesn't get under my eyes or on my eyelids. The next one is to help with eyeliner because I have so much trouble with eyeliner. I actually really avoid wearing it a lot of times because I just cannot get it right. So for this you just 
need a post-it note and some scissors and you just want to cut out the shape of the wing that you want. Now I kind of rushed mine a little bit just because I was trying to film this quickly so I definitely recommend taking a lot of time with this because once you get it right you're good to go and you can use it on both eyes. So what I used mine for was more to like outline and I made mine really big just so you guys could see it well on camera. You probably would want to make it a little bit smaller but as you can see it really does help get kind of like a sharp edge and it's nice and even and then you can flip it over and do the other side. Now I was looking at my camera so I know this is a little wonky but if you look in a mirror it looks really nice. If you don't want to go with the post-it method I have one more for you. You can use one of those little like dental floss picks and actually use this to create a straight edge for your eyeliner as well. This again was so hard to do looking on camera but once I brought it into my bathroom and looked in a mirror it was so easy. So if you want to try this one I definitely recommend it. Now one thing I do when I get ready is when I get out my hairspray not only do I use it on my hair but I also use it to tame flyaways and to tame my eyebrows so I'm taking an old mascara wand this is one I no longer use on my eyes that's very important because you would never want to get hairspray in your eyes obviously and I just take this and I run it on my eyebrows this is one of the things that I try to do at the beginning of my getting ready routine because basically when I like change shirts or I'm getting ready and running around a lot of times your eyebrows can get really kind of crazy looking so if you keep them in place in the beginning you're good to go now another thing I double up on is dry shampoo and I will use this in my hair and then before I leave I'll grab my shoes and spray some in my shoes as well this just gives my shoes a fresh scent which basically just kind of like makes my day for the rest of the day because I don't have to worry about my feet smelling so moving on I have a few like morning snack hacks for you. So the first one is to remove the little coffee pot of your coffee maker and replace it with a bowl and oatmeal. And then basically you can turn this on and let it run. Now my only like disclaimer with this is that if the bottom of your coffee maker gets really hot like mine does, you want to make sure that you have a bowl on there that is going to be safe with like high temperatures. Like I would never ever do this with like a paper bowl or like anything that couldn't handle the heat because it does get really really hot and it could be hazardous so just make sure that you check on it frequently if you're going to do that another hack for you is if you like hard-boiled eggs in the morning which I love so what you need are some eggs and then a lemon and basically you just want to slice the lemon and just get a little bit out and put that in the water with your eggs also don't throw away the lemon because you could use that with like tea I also use slices of lemon to like clean my sink believe it or not it works really really well on like the hardware so never throw away lemon because there's just like way too many uses for it so anyways just put it in there with your eggs and then when you come back and go to peel them they're just like so much easier to peel now this last food hack I think is by far the most helpful all you need is butter and a cheese grater so if you've ever gone to make toast in the morning oh by the way don't throw out your bread ties because you can use them to help with like your phone charger if the wires are coming out or anything just like a little side hack but sometimes when I go to make toast in the morning I literally can't even cut through the butter because it's just like too cold so if you take a cheese grater and slide it down instead you get like thinner pieces of butter it cuts way easier and then it also melts easier because the pieces are thinner. Now I think in a video over the holidays I showed you guys how to roll up like an entire outfit to pack it easier. I can't remember which video but basically what you do is you lay out a shirt jeans and then like any accessories like scarves or socks and then you just roll it all together and this is also something I do apart from traveling I do it during the school week as well so basically I fold over everything and roll it up and then I tuck everything in the hood and this just like really helps it all just kind of stay together it kind of looks like a giant like loaf of bread I don't know and what I do for this is I get a basket out and I just have a small one because my apartment's really tiny but if you had a bigger basket I totally would recommend it and then I just put that in like shoes with it and this is like my emergency outfit container so if there's ever a morning where I do not have time to run through my closet and put together an outfit I have this ready to go just in case so those are like for the mornings I really sleep in and I recommend doing this with like three or four outfits because it really helps so after I get dressed I just grab my school bag and I am out the door and that is it for my morning routine Stay
you guys so, so much for watching and just for all of your support and everything you guys do. I hope you guys really like these designs. Um, again, I'll have the website linked down below. Just be sure to check it out within the next two weeks because then everything's going to be gone and then you can't get one anymore, which would be really, really sad. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!